Welcome to Seamless Donations 4.0 for Seamless Donations 3.3 users. My name is David Gewertz and I'm going to take you through the process of updating from 3.3 to 4.0 and things you need to keep in mind as you do so. First off, I want to point out that we are running version 4.0 but you still have the normal gear section down here that you're used to with all of your donations, uh, funds, donors, and so forth. So the interface that you're used to is still there, but you're going to want to upgrade for all of the new capabilities and support that come in Seamless Donations 4.0. So as long as uh, you're in the dashboard, uh, and before you've upgraded, you'll see this update notice that says that there's a major update. If you click it, it will take you to the main Seamless Donations page with this large thing. And this is really key because what you're going to need to do is make sure you've taken a backup and you've tested. A few things will change as you move from the 3.3 version to the 4.0 version. There's a number of features that have changed uh, and new features as well. There's a much more modern UI, which you'll see in a few minutes. Uh, there are custom post types for funds, donors, and donations. Uh, this system has been designed for considerable extensibility. There are hooks, filters, actions in the system, a new forms engine, uh, and it's translation ready. But you will need to be changing your, your short code, you'll need to check your CSS, and you'll want to double check your data just to make sure everything is okay. So once you've done that, uh, you'll want to come on down here and hit, I've made a backup, let's do this upgrade. And let me again stress that it's very important that you in fact do make a backup and you have tested it because this will there, there is no going back uh, except through restoring backups. I don't have a recover from upgrade feature in this. So let's go ahead and click, I've made a backup, let's do this upgrade, which is again, it's, it's on the main Seamless Donations page. Just scroll on down here, run that and boom, you are now in the new Seamless Donations interface. What's interesting to note is that donors, which used to be here, are now on the dashboard menu up here. I'm sorry, donations are up here, as are donors, as are funds. So you'll find all of that over here. So if you want to look at donations, your donation data can't, comes across, your donor data comes across, and your fund data comes across. Once you're aware of how that works, uh, you can come back over to your main Seamless Donations window here, or menu, and you can hide these tabs because you'll no longer be getting to these from the tabs. You can just make these go away. They're just here so you, you didn't get confused and go, oh my god, where's all my stuff? But you can hide those tabs and you're all set. And now you are up and running, in this case in test server mode, in Seamless Donations 4.0. I'll point out a few resources. This is a different video from what you're watching. This is the Getting Started video. This will take you through how to use Seamless Donations 4.0. Uh, this is a sign up field for those of you who haven't yet signed up to get updates and notices on new product updates for Seamless Donations. It's a very low traffic list and a ton of resources including one of the big reasons we went to 4.0 which is adding an entire range of actions and filters, form engine, and so forth. So there you go. My name is David Gortz, and welcome to Seamless Donations 4.0. Thanks very much.